이렇게 다리 힘을 이용해서 자전거를 탄 이유는 이 가방을 싸기 위해서였다는 거야. 이렇게 꼭 눌러주고 다리 힘으로 이렇게 쓱 해준 다음에 스코이즈 하고. Good job. 그럼 한 12kg야. 12kg를 들고 다니는 게 맞아. <웃음> oh. But where are we going, babe? We're going to Jeju. <웃음> Let's do it. Recently, we cycled over a thousand kilometers through Korea, and we still had an itch to travel somewhere. And before the weather gets too hot, we figured it'd be a good opportunity to go to Jeju to explore the tropical island and just relax this time. Jeju is located off the southwestern tip of Korea, and it can be viewed kind of like Korea's Hawaii. There's a trend amongst Koreans to live on the island for a month to relax called Jeju Handasari. Normally this is done by staying at hotels or Airbnbs and renting a car to get around, but we don't have the budget to do that. So we packed our tent and headed over to Gimpo Airport to take the cheapest flight we could find at 40,000 Korean won. We'll be making videos while we're there about how to live in Jeju for cheap and show what you can expect, but this is only for those with a sense of adventure and who aren't afraid of getting a little bit dirty. We have no plans at all. So let's relax and check out the beautiful island. We don't have a huge budget, so we're going to stick to about 50,000 won per day for the both of us. So that's 25,000 won each. So we'll try our best to stay within the budget. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to see some cool things for cheap. We've never been to Jeju in this kind of situation before, so this should be a good time. All right, made it to Jeju. And you know you're in Korea when the seatbelt sign turns off. The entire plane just jumps up at the same time. So, little tip: just wait in your seat until everyone gets off the plane. And it's a lot easier. Our first mission was to take the bus to Kumnung Beach because there's a free campground with everything we need close by to enjoy the slow beach life without having to worry about moving our tent. We hopped on the 151 bus right at the airport and learnt our first lesson immediately. Yeah, we got off the bus in the middle of the countryside. We were supposed to transfer to another bus and the next one doesn't come for an hour. So we <laughs> kind of learnt that it's probably better to wait for a bus that just goes from like one place to the next where you don't have to transfer because the bus times are like ridiculously long. So anyways, we're right next to this Osolok green tea like museum. I don't know what you actually do there, but... Oh, let's go check it out. The cafe was super crowded and way over our budget at 8,000 won for one of these green tea wapu opuredo. I don't even know what that means, but it looks good if you have the budget for it. Luckily, there was a nice outdoor area for us to relax in the shade while we waited for our bus. All right, we made it to uh, Kumning finally. Getting pretty hungry right now. Yeah, we're just gonna go get something to eat, celebrate our first night here, enjoy the night. If you walk a little bit east of the beach, there's an area surrounded by palm trees. That's the free campground. We found a spot and relaxed for the night. First night in Jeju.
어, 지게 왔대. 이두 개가 3,000원. 그리고, 왜 이거를 샀냐면, 어차피 삼각김밥이 좀 작아가지고. 그래서 이거 두 개. 참치마요. 그리고, 이거는 내 거. 이거는 지구시. 가장 싼 거. <웃음> 그래서 오늘 아침은 이렇게 6,000원도 안 됐어. 잘했어. And it's uh, raining today, so there's not a lot we can do except for stay in the tent. But we realize we definitely need like a small backpack to kind of leave a lot of our stuff in the tent and then just take the expensive stuff with us in the backpack to kind of make it easier to travel. So today I think we're gonna like look on Tangan Market, which is a secondhand app, and see how it works in Jeju. Yeah, so on this app, you basically just set your neighborhood. And it shows you like all the people selling things nearby. I think in Jeju, since it's a pretty small island overall, it just looks at the entire island instead of like neighborhood by neighborhood. Okay, so we managed to find a backpack in Jeju, in Jeju City. And uh, we got to take a bus there. It's about an hour to get there. There's not much to do today anyways, so that is our mission for right now. Yeah, the bus is coming in eight minutes and you gotta kind of keep on track of the buses here. It's easy to miss them. Mm -hmm. But uh, luckily on Kakao map, you can see exactly where they are. It shows you all the buses like on the map in real time. So that helps a lot. Just so people know, on neighbor maps, you can easily see how much restaurants cost before you go in, so you don't have to like go inside and then uh, see the prices and leave awkwardly. Yeah, we found a kaguksu place. We're gonna go check it out while we wait for the guy to sell us that backpack. Let's go. All right, just got our food, and the restaurant's pretty loud, but hopefully you guys can hear it. So what do we got here? It's <laughs> 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 So with the uh, Monday, you have to be pretty careful because it's really hot usually. Okay, switch to the GoPro because it's kind of raining on and off and just don't want to like keep switching cameras. But uh, at uh, every restaurant in Korea, like the regular restaurants, you can get a free cup of coffee. They usually have a little coffee vending machine. And so if you eat there, you can finish your meal with free coffee. Then you don't have to spend five bucks at a cafe, right? <laughs> How was the, the food? Mandu's a bit simple, but the kalguk soup was really good. It 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 was The guy selling us the backpack wasn't able to find it, so we had to cancel the sale. One thing important to note is that people can be quite flaky on Tangan Market, but luckily we had a backup plan. For those that don't know, Daiso is basically the dollar store of Asia, but it literally has everything you could ask for. And we were in luck, because we found a cheap backpack and snorkeling goggles, and we were now fully prepared to enjoy the beach life. Hyopje Beach is right beside Kumning Beach to the east, and it's the perfect spot to go swimming. It might look crowded, but 95% of swimmers stay in the super shallow water. So if you venture out a little bit, you get the whole thing to yourself.
The water is pretty shallow even if you venture far, but it's crystal clear and so refreshing. This is one of the best beaches I've ever been to, and arguably the best beach of Jeju. And luckily it's on the west coast, so every night you get to sit back and relax to this.